Insta Weather Plus forecast with meteorologist Mary Marshall. Good afternoon, everyone. Once again, it's been a cloudy and dreary Thursday, and that's the way it will stay. We have some showers out there producing moderate to light rain, and we will continue to see that trend over the coming days. And all of this uh, are adding to is adding to our raindrops. Here we can see the main feature that's causing all of this: the low pressure and the cold front associated with this is a moved offshore, but is still impacting the area. The big story, of course, is Hurricane Joaquin. Here it is spinning a mighty Category 3 hurricane, spinning now uh, over the Atlantic around the Bahamas, really causing some damage there. Here's a track of it. 125 mile per hour winds, gust up to 155 miles per hour. It's moving to the southwest at 6 miles per hour. This is the latest track from the National Hurricane Center, showing that we are still in this quote, Cone of uncertainty mean that it could strike anywhere within this cone, but that cone has since shifted a little bit further to the east, which would curve it out to sea. Even the main model, the GFS, the American model, which at first was really trying to get it to slam into either the Carolinas or the Maryland area, has taken a dramatic shift over to the east. So we're going to track this trend for you and continue to bring you updates all afternoon long. But for now, it will first strengthen into a Category 4 storm and then gradually weaken to a 3 and to Saturday morning a Category 2 and to Sunday morning a Category 1. By this time, it is closer to the Carolinas area, but we could still see it continue to curve out to sea. So certainly uh, something to watch there. But before all of this makes its way to us, because it won't impact the Maryland area until later Sunday into Monday, if it should come near us, we'll have lots of rain before that. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Heavy rain is the potential Friday. Flooding is going to be a concern. Three inches uh, of rain will be possible between now and early Saturday. So we could still see those inches of rain rack up. Flood watches and flood warnings are in effect across the region. We expect this to expand into the Baltimore area tomorrow, although most of it is for Anne Arundel, Howard County, and Point South. Uh, this will likely be spanning to the Baltimore area starting tomorrow and lasting us until Saturday afternoon. So those are the days you have to be careful if you're going to be traveling. We're in the 50s now, 57 degrees downtown, 54. Westminster, a cloudy day out there with highs 58 to 62 degrees. A light, moderate, uh, light to moderate rain possible with winds out of the north at 5 to 10 miles per hour. There's our main feature causing the rain for now just off the coast. So throughout the day, you continue to see those scattered showers. And then by Friday into Saturday, we really begin to see things ramp up a bit. Here we are at 2 o'clock Friday, light to moderate rain with some pockets of heavier rain embedded. And then 6 o'clock Friday, we could really see that heavy rain begin to fall. So this means you'll have reduced visibility and you may not be able to see as much as you're driving out there along with flooding streets is a big concern for us. So 58 degrees tomorrow, 90% chance for showers, 59 degrees Saturday, up to 64 Sunday with rain. And we're watching the potential impacts of Hurricane Joaquin, 68 by uh, Monday with another 40% chance for showers.